Well, to close our services this morning, uh, we have a special treat. Uh, Ken, if you would come up on stage, Sarah as well, please. They love surprises. <laughs> well, we just have a, a, a special, we have a special little treat for you guys. We want to close the service uh, in a different way simply because it's Father's Day. As many of you know, Ken's son Keith was deployed to Iraq several months ago. Well, with the aid of technology, uh, we're going to close out our services this morning by allowing him to, uh, or we're going to play a recording of him praying a blessing over us. So, sound as if you would. CJ emotional right now. Come on, this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on.
Madeline, really? Sorry. Put it on Nancy Kelly. Put it on Nancy Kelly. I love you. We got you. Got you, Kel. For one Randall High School senior, this evening's graduation was more than just a ceremony. It was an unexpected family reunion. News Channel 10's Shannon Smith is live in the studio with more on how this plan was put into action. Reese Cryer hadn't seen his older brother Travis Fannin since September when he was deployed to Kuwait with the U.S. Marine Corps. So you can imagine how surprised he was to see Fannin standing on the stage at Randall High's graduation holding his diploma. Our next graduate is being presented his diploma by his brother, Lance Corporal Travis Fannin of the Marine Corps in 2000. Fannin found out Wednesday morning that he'd been granted leave to come see his little brother graduate from Randall High School. The boy's mom reached out to Randall High's principal to see if the school could make the day special for the brothers. Of course, I mean, why not? I mean, let's, let's do this and let's do it right. So graduation's already pretty special. But to have your brother come in from Kuwait and give you your diploma, you know, that's just going to blow it off the top. I mean, it's going to be pretty cool. William snuck Fannin on stage during the ceremony, and the whole time, Cryer had no idea what was planned for him. I like, I like surprising people. It brings just a smile to their face, and everyone's happy. I hope he doesn't cry. But he's, he's a strong boy. Yeah, he'll do good. Fannin did not get his wish. His little brother cried, and the reunion was emotional and exciting for the whole family. Cryer ran to hug his brother as the audience cheered. He says he was shocked, surprised, and so happy to see Fannin after all this time. Glad to be home with my brother. That's all I can say. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Congratulations to Reese and the entire class of 2016, and thank you, Lance Corporal, for your service. Reporting live in the studio, Shannon Smith. New okay, so we're... Today, Aiden got a letter from his elf and Sophie's elf saying that, what did it say? It said, well, Santa, Santa, well, I lost my bike. His bike Santa, was stolen. Yes. And Santa got me a new one. Well, you don't know. It said he has something here that you've been missing, right? It's probably the same bike. Okay. Well, you can't turn around until I tell you. Do you understand, Aiden? Come stand right here. Come stand next to your sister. You cannot turn around until I tell you, even if the garage door opens, okay? okay. Don't turn around yet. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't turn around yet. All right, you can turn around. Bike, Aiden, but this is better, yeah? <laughs> Aiden, Sophie, 
Are you surprised? <laughs> Hi. I'm not Kyle. It's not me. Toy Story 2? I don't know. Do you want to know why we're all here? Do you want to put the topper on it? I just told my vacation with Weston to come see you when I... <laughs> so Do you want to know how long we knew that he was coming home? Three weeks. Three weeks I kept a secret from you. You lied. <laughs> birthday I was going to arrange a news crew and uh, so when when she heard Belvin Perry came down she said it's time for your birthday and then I said well Debbie there may there may be a news crew or two up there she said, what but I'm not going so we forced her up I told her that um, you guys were here because we we're gonna have some firemen deliver a cake with a lot of candles on it so um, yeah and she um, She's really missed her son.
Did you know he was coming home? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. He's crying because he missed me.